Hey everyone, Samsung just dropped the Galaxy S25 series. There's one big surprise. Every single model is powered by Qualcomm's new Snapdragon 8 Elite chipset. If you've been following Samsung for a while, you know that's a huge shift. For years, Samsung has been pushing its own Exynos chips, and let's be honest, they've had a pretty rough track record. Exynos chips have lagged behind Snapdragon in performance, battery life, and even heat management. So when Samsung ditched Exynos entirely for this year's lineup, Fans were celebrating, but here's where things get interesting. Samsung didn't just abandon Exynos because of past performance issues. The real reason? Manufacturing problems. The Exynos 2500 was originally supposed to power at least some Galaxy S25 models, but Samsung ran into a major hurdle. Their new 3M fabrication process wasn't producing enough working chips to make it worth the cost. In simple terms, they were losing money trying to manufacture them. So instead of forcing Exynos into the lineup, Samsung went all in on Qualcomm. Now, if you're someone who always preferred Snapdragon, this is great news. But for Samsung's chip division, this was a massive hit. However, instead of giving up on Exynos, Samsung is taking a different approach. They're fixing it. They've created a dedicated team to work on two key things, making Exynos powerful enough to compete with Snapdragon and MediaTek, improving their chip manufacturing process so they don't run into the same production issues again. And if they succeed, Exynos might be back in the Galaxy S26 lineup next year. But here's the thing, fans aren't exactly excited about Exynos making a comeback. Samsung has to prove that it can actually compete. After years of underwhelming performance, people are skeptical, and for good reason. If Samsung pulls it off though, it won't just be good for their phones, it turned them into a major player in the chip industry. A solid Exynos chip could attract clients like AMD, Nvidia, and maybe even Apple, making Samsung an even bigger force in the tech world. And according to reports, things are already looking up. The Exynos 2600, set to power the S26 series, is showing much better results than its predecessor. If Samsung can keep improving, you might actually see an Exynos chip that's worth getting excited about. But if they fail, that might be the end of Exynos in Samsung's flagship phones for good. Now, while all this Exynos drama is playing out, another big leak just dropped about the Galaxy S26 Ultra. And if it's true, Samsung is about to change the game when it comes to smartphone displays. A well-known tipster is claiming that the S26 Ultra will have the thinnest bezels we've ever seen. So thin that Samsung might be able to fit a massive 7-inch display without increasing the phone's overall size. That's crazy when you think about it. More screen real estate for gaming, streaming, and multitasking, all while keeping the phone compact and comfortable to hold. Samsung did something similar with the S25 Ultra, managing to squeeze a 6.9-inch display without making the phone any bigger. If they pull off another upgrade like that, we could be looking at one of the biggest displays ever in a flagship smartphone. But would that be enough to make you upgrade? Do slimmer bezels and a bigger display excite you, or are you waiting for bigger leaps in battery life, cameras, or AI-powered features? Let me know in the comments. And as always, if you love tech news, leaks, and deep dives into the latest gadgets, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. I'll catch you in the next one. Until then, take care.